Hello guys, how are you? Today I'm gonna talk about something that you've been asked to me in the comments and uh, in the blog and everything and it's about transportation. Yes, I'm gonna talk about my opinion about the whole system, uh, prices as well and some fun facts about the metro system and the train and bus as well. So let's start talking about transportation here in Stockholm. First of all, I have to talk to... <coughs> 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 First of all, I have to tell you that they are very punctual and I'm really serious about it. A fun fact and cool thing about the system here is that before getting to any station you're gonna see a screen telling how many minutes the train is gonna pass towards some direction. So if you see there like one minute it's just to run a bit and get the train so it's really really good and very useful. So this is the first fun fact about the, the system that I really, really appreciate. I don't even have to tell you that it's really efficient, the whole system. Like you have, you have uh, trains passing every, every minute, like every two, three minutes. You don't need to wait too much. Sometimes you have to, but like it's, it's late in the night or in Sundays, for example. But normally you don't need to wait too much to get a train. The second fun fact, and my favorite one, is that on Fridays and Saturdays, the metro is 24 hours. Yes, 24 hours. And this is amazing. I, I don't, I, I can't even describe to you how I appreciate this thing. And this is really, really cool because it's basically Sweden saying go enjoy your life, hang out with your friends, go clubbing, go to some party, go and have fun on your weekend. So this is really really cool and uh, it's not very common to find this. I was in Berlin for example, which is a huge city and to move there you definitely need the metro and there you can't count on the system, on the metro system on Fridays and Saturday night because uh, it's not gonna work after midnight or after 1, 1 a.m. But here you have 24 hours, so God bless Sweden because this thing is awesome and I really appreciate this fun fact about the Friday and Saturday night opening times. Another fun fact about the transportation here in Stockholm is that the metro stations are art galleries. Yes, this is so cool because you are just there in the platform waiting for your train and you can appreciate all the beauty and everything. They normally they invite really cool artists to participate in the decoration of the of the station and it's so cool. Like my favorite one in, is in Kungstragarden and it's like all green and red, it's like a slithering communal room from Harry Potter, you know? So it's really really cool and I really appreciate this, this metro station. And hopefully soon I'm gonna have time to go to my favorite ones and show to you the art galleries, uh, my favorite ones inside of metro station. So it's really really cool and this is another fun fact that I really like about the transportation here in Sweden. Other cool fact is that animals are allowed inside of the trains. This is really cool. Here in Sweden they really take care about their pets. So it's really cool to see like the lady inside of the metro with her dog. So it's very very common to see this kind of things here. And, um, and I think it's pretty awesome because in other countries normally they don't allow animals and here they do. So it's really cool and I really like this fact about the metro rules here. And of course I don't even have to tell you that bicycles uh, are also allowed inside so it's really cool. But in other places like in Brazil for example you are already able to get your bike inside of the train so it's cool but like it's, it's common in other places as well. So to sum up the system here is awesome and with everything, with all of this, it's clear that you, you don't need cars to move inside of the town, so it's really, really cool. And then you're also contributing for the environment. That's why Swedes are so eco-friendly, so it's really, really cool. You can easily find people with 30 or 40 years old uh, that don't have cars, like it's still in nowadays. 
so it's pretty 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 common to to find this here and I think this is amazing like you don't need a car to move you don't need a car to go somewhere so it's awesome to only count on the transportation system here in Sweden. Okay, and to finish, let's talk about prices. I know that you are asking about prices and let's go. I have the paper here because of course I don't I don't know things by heart. The prices and everything. So I'm gonna tell you the main prices, okay? Because you have like 24 hours, 72 hours, 7 days, 30 days, blah, 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 student, no student, under 20 years old, uh, seniors. So a bunch of information, I'm just gonna tell you the main ones. So if you are here and wanna stay, like for example, 3 days in Stockholm and wanna get like the, the tickets for uh, 3 days, for example, if you are under 20, you are gonna pay 140 sec and if you are over 20 you're gonna pay 230 sec but if you are a student like me or you soon I know I believe in you so you can choose between a 30 day pass or a 90 day pass so the 30 day pass is 560 crowns and the 90 day pass is 1540 crowns so it's very simple you just charge this special card here and then you can use it in the barriers just up and then you get into the station so it's really cool really awesome so the video is finishing and I hope you like it to know more about transportation here in Stockholm I really appreciate the system I don't have anything bad to say about this so I hope you enjoy it and see you next week, next Thursday and hey doa!